Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Wednesday in the Word. Once again, I'm glad you're with me this morning to spend a few moments in God's Word. I love the Psalms. This morning, I want to read part of a Psalm to you. We're going to be in Psalm 33, verses 16 through 22. Listen to what God's Word says. No king is saved by the size of his army. No warrior escapes by his great strength. A horse is a vain hope for deliverance. Despite all its great strength, it cannot save. But the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him, on those whose hope is in his unfailing love, to deliver them from death and to keep them alive during the famine. We wait in hope for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. May your unfailing love be with us, Lord, even as we put our hope in you. You know, in this life, in this world, I'm tempted to put my hope in so many things. I'm tempted to put my hope in myself, in my knowledge, in my education, uh, in my understanding. I'm tempted to put my hope in my experience in this life. I'm tempted to put my hope in my bank account or my job, my spouse, my family, my friends. There's so many things in this world that tempt me to put my hope in those things. But the word tells me right here, I love this because in verse 16, it says the king is not saved because of the size of his army. He's not saved because of his own great strength. Uh, his hope is not in the horse who has great strength. The horse can't save the king. The Bible says the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him. The eyes of the Lord are on those who hope in his unfailing love. I love that word unfailing. God's love for you and for me, it is unfailing. It is unmatched. There is nothing like God's love in this world. God's love is perfect. It is right. It is true. And the Bible says that it is God and God alone who can deliver us from death. It is God and God alone who can keep us alive during times of famine. And the psalmist says it best. We wait in the hope of the Lord. We call the Lord our help. We call the Lord our shield. And our hearts rejoice because we know that God is our Father. We know that we belong to Him, and we know that He loves us with an unfailing love. The psalmist says that twice. Your love is unfailing, Lord, and that is what we put our hope in. We put our hope in Your unfailing love. We put our hope in You. So in this life, when you're tempted to put your hope in the things of this world, I pray that you'll be reminded of Psalm 33, these verses, 16 through 22. Nothing in this world can sustain you. Nothing in this world can save you. Nothing in this world can truly give you or bring you hope. It's only the Lord. Put your hope in the Lord. Put your hope in his unfailing love. He will never let you down. God is faithful. God is true. So I'm thankful for this word today. It certainly helps me. I hope this word helps you today. And I love the fact that we can come together and read God's word and encourage one another. And I thank the Lord that I'm able to do that with you. I'm thankful to the Lord that I'm able to do that for you in Wednesday in the Word. Always a blessing. Thank you for spending these few moments with me this morning, this Wednesday. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope you have a great rest of your week, and I look forward to being with you next Wednesday, if it's the Lord's will. And by the way, speaking of love, I love Christmas. And did you know that we're only 308 days away from Christmas? <laughs> have a great rest of your day.